welcome back to my channel. My name is Rayanne, for those who don't know. So today I want to share with you my Halloween tree. Um, it's like my fourth year or so doing it. I didn't do exactly a decorate with me video, which I probably will the next time I do one. But I do want to just you know, kind of talk about it and share some little tidbits with it and see if it helps anyone. Here's all my, or I shouldn't say all, but here's some of my indoor decor. It's about that time. There's my spooky town already set up. I don't have the lights on. Some other decor going on. I'm so excited. We are about to put up the Halloween tree. And it's going to go right there next to the big window, but on the corner. I was gonna put it on that side by that window, but decided, no, I like the chair there. Here it is. And we have this big window. There's Benny, our butler. <sighs> Secret. We are putting it on wheels. So it moves. It moves, it'll make it easy. If I gotta move it out of the way, but it's about to go down. And, here is my Christmas tree, Halloween tree. All right, so the tree is up. And did I forget how long it takes to fluff out a Christmas tree? But it's all fluffed out. This is my seven foot skinny tree, which is perfect for the spot that it's in. Now, one little secret that I goofed up on and I'm gonna not do that again this year is when you're putting together a Christmas tree, you know how there's like gaps and I know you, you can space it and you have ornaments you can fill in, but if you get these Christmas picks, let me turn, these Christmas picks that are just greenery, it is an excellent filler in the spot and takes up those holes. And if you do that before you put your lights on, it makes a really big difference. Problem is, I forgot. I think I packed those with my Christmas stuff. So I can't exactly completely do that this year, but that's okay. So step one is complete. Now for the... All right, tree has been fluffed. Lights have been added and it's starting to come along. Now, if you notice, it kind of has a little funky curve to the right this year. And I think that's because of this new base. It's the twisting turnaround base. And I couldn't get it exactly right. Oh, someone wants to say hi. Hi, Dodger. And I had to put some cardboard in there to kind of get it straight. But it has a little funky little angle to it. But you know what? It's a Halloween tree. I actually don't mind it. Okay, so I did add, so this Christmas tree has the white lights already in it. So I added these LED orange lights. I ran to 99 cent store actually just a little while ago to get some purple lights because I forgot I didn't have any. And then I've had these pumpkin lights that I think are so adorable. Um, I think I got these a few years ago at Michael's, but I only have two strands, so I kind of spread them out. Um, one thing that I learned the hard way last year is I used fairy lights on my tree, which, you know, are beautiful and, and twinkle, but they're a pain in the butt it, considering I put my tree up so early in August. And I have to change the batteries and the box fell in the middle of the tree last year and I couldn't get it and they were purple fairy lights so again that's why I ran to night dine dance on store and got these purple lights so I can have them all connect and plug in together but now that it's up it's pretty it's colorful but I want the twinkle so I think I'm gonna add some twinkle lights let's see how that so I found my fairy lights and no matter how well I try to be organized and not get them tangled, they still end up getting tangled because they're so fragile. But 
So when I was looking, I don't know if the picture shows well, but this is an orange cord. You can probably see better here. It's an orange cord. So I thought initially they were orange lights. Good thing I labeled it last year because now I can see, remind myself, oh, purple lights on an orange cord. Patting myself on the back for that one. All right, now to get this situated and get it up on the tree. Lights accomplished, yes. See, the twinkle works. I had gotten on Amazon a twinkle box. I think it was a hundred lights on it. I forget the length, but it literally one fit the whole tree. So I put the box down here so I can easily access it. And the tree now comes to life and has movement. Loving it. Tomorrow I get to put on ornaments. Fun times. Look at it. It spins. And it has a little arch, which is kind of funny, but I don't mind it. For Halloween, it looks cool. And it lights. It moves. We've got movement. Oh my. Okay, so making progress. Oh, look at how spooky that's looking. So what I do when I do my my trees, my Christmas or Halloween, is I like to put the ribbon and, you know, you just kind of weave it in and stick it in. And then I tend to use picks in the pockets to kind of hold it in place. Picks or the big ornaments to hold it in place. So I'm doing that and working on that. But at the top of my tree, look at how cool and creepy. Sorry, there's background noise. That is starting to look, oh my gosh, I'm digging it. So what I did is I have a lot of these long picks. Being that I have a rotating base this year, I kind of need to make all of the angles look great. Usually, I, I'll admit, I tend to make the front look more than the back. So there's a gap up here that I need to put that last pick of pumpkins as a filler. But I am loving the way it's starting to come out. All right, progress. My Halloween tree is done, basically done. And look, it's moving. Awesome. Might be a little spooky. We got the bats coming out. Rudolph. All these cool ornaments. Some of them I've made. Some of them are gifts. Some of them are new. Oh my goodness, I love it. I love it. I love it. that time that was new for Michael's this year so this is the first year that I got a spinner thingy to twist and turn and showcase the lovely tree which is good and bad um, the good is it's, if you have a beautiful tree, it, it, you can see all aspects of it. The bad is you're going to see all aspects of it. So you really are forced to kind of decorate the entire thing. Um, so what I did is I just ordered off of Amazon that little, you can't really see it, but there the actual tree stand has two plugins that allow you to connect your cords so they don't get all crazy and tangled because I was wondering how that works. And you can actually have it not move or it can move in either way. I do both depending. Um, now my tree, if you notice, I'll stand back a little bit. My tree is a little on a curve and that's the way the pole is sitting in it. And I put some little cardboard pieces in it to kind of straighten it out. But you know what? It's a Halloween tree. 
it can have a curvature. That actually kind of helps give it a little bit more character, I think. So I use, um, I don't have a tree topper, so I did use this here a lot of picks. Um, these I got from Michaels, there's a couple years ago or last year, the bat picks. I think those pumpkin picks too, some of these might be actually from Dollar Tree. I do love these thingies. Now, they are glittery. That is, for those who don't like glitter, sorry, but they just add that little extra. Look at how they just like whimsically stick out and I don't know, just little spooky fun vibes. I love it. I do add this mesh to it. I think it's a great filler. This year, I usually do one long one, but this year I did some little pieces of ones just to kind of fill in the blanks on them. Um, I do have picks that I've collected from everything I get on sale or 99 cent store or Dollar Tree, or I made them. Like that's a sticker one that I made. Um, I got some of these at Marshall's Ross, one of those stores. Like those are Dollar Tree. These are new this year. There's some wood ones that I got that I love. Haunted Mansion ones that I've collected from Disney. That is Dollar Tree or 99 cent store. Eat, drink, and be scary. I made some of these were gifts. I absolutely love these lights. I didn't have enough of them. So I had to like really scarcely spread it out. Got those at Michael's years ago. And actually this year, they sell, sold them again, so I just bought some on sale. Um, so what I do is I use ribbon to poof. You gotta do the poof. It's a good filler, it adds color, picks, florals. You know, you just kinda personalize it with your liking. I was trying to do a theme and it just turned out to be really colorful. So I try to focus on like witchy ornaments like this is a new one this is what I got at Joann's it's a cool raven with skull um, but then it kind of just turned into a mismatch of a lot um, which isn't bad but maybe next year I'm gonna do maybe a black and white I really want to do a black and white tree now I added some white this year which I didn't do last year not sure how I feel about that I mean overall it's gorgeous I think get a lot of compliments and I love it but I really want to do a black and white one those are like Walmart, I think, from last year. 98 cent star. So you can really do what you want with this. So what I wanted to share is, this is literally just a Christmas tree. It's a green, I don't know if you can see with the color right now, but it's a green Christmas tree that has white lights. You do not need a black tree. Got that? You don't need a black Halloween tree for it to be a Halloween tree. You can use just a regular Christmas tree. I happen to have a skinny tree because it fits in my space. Um, and then just personalize it with your lights. Like I said, I added the pumpkin orange lights. 99 cents, no, yeah, 99 cents store has some great lights, these orange ones, LEDs. I grabbed those. There's some purple, purple LEDs. And then you can subtly see it from a distance with the flicker. I added some purple fairy lights in here. So minus the fairy lights, I connect all the cording together and then I turn it, I have one of those switches that you can connect everything to and with the remote control, you can turn it off and on, which is amazing. So I have my little swirl, I have remote control. So you can make a, a tree, a Halloween tree, whatever you want, whatever color scheme you want. Doesn't have to be full, it can just pick Whatever ornaments you have. You can even use Christmas ornaments that are just the plain bulbs. Like this is, these are Christmas ornaments. So they're just purple. I happen to have purple because I love purple. So I have purple ones. I think I have some orange ones. So make it whatever you want it to be. So there is your Halloween tree. Hopefully you get a little inspiration. All right, that's it. 
that's my Halloween tree for 2022. If you have any questions on anything, if I can help anyway, please let me know. Shoot me a little comment. And I am new to these types of videos, so if you did like it, please let me know by liking and subscribing. That would be great. Um, hopefully you enjoy. And you see that right there? That is Benny, my butler, who's out all year long because we just love him. Hi, Benny. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.